you will never be able to do any work of the kingdom and excel except you have wisdom so number one the nature of God number two the mind of Christ are you ready for number three I will give you this and then we'll pray to end the service tonight the spiritual man the third dimension of the reflection of Christ that must be captured in the believer is called the works of Christ so here we have the nature or character of Christ Number two, we have the mind slash wisdom of Christ. And then the final phase are the works of Christ. Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, with power, with power. When it has to do with the works, you see power has been introduced now. Power. Who went about doing good? He didn't say who went about organizing programs. He went about doing good as a lifestyle. The works of Christ. Doing good. This is beyond just charity. Doing good. Bringing life. Becoming like a river that everywhere you flow to, life happens for the people. Healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Notice three words that you should not forget when it has to do with the works of Christ. The Holy Spirit, power, Satan. The Holy Spirit who brings the power and that power is primarily against the demonic activities that assault the saints. The works of Christ. In John chapter 20 and verse 21. John chapter 20 and verse 21. Please give it to us. John 20 and verse 21 do we have that John 20 and verse 21 so Jesus said unto them again peace to you as the father has sent me my God as the father has sent me he did not just send me to reveal his nature he sent me to reveal his power when Jesus went to the temple to read the messianic prophecy, he opened it and he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor or the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. You are wondering what the works of Christ are? This, I'm listening for you. To bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives, the recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are oppressed. The works of Christ. If you want to be a reflection of the Christ as a spiritual man, you have the character of Christ, the wisdom of Christ, but you need the works of Christ. And this is where the value of the anointing comes. When the sick are healed supernaturally, to the glory of God that's the works of Christ when you reach down to the poor and the needy and by helping them to supply help and aid and then teaching them the principles that empower them that is the works of Christ when you become light upon the earth salt upon the earth light you see that the works of Christ there are many believers who do not want to contend for this dimension of power to do the works of Christ it is the nature of Christ plus the wisdom of Christ plus the works of Christ that represents the fullness of Christ at work in a believer. Let me take that again. The nature or the character of Christ plus the wisdom, the mind of Christ plus the works of Christ, extraordinary exploits by the Spirit and through the Word when these three dimensions are captured in your life, you are truly a spiritual man. A spiritual man, therefore, is not just a man who loves to study the Bible. It's not just a man who loves to pray. It's not just a man who loves to go to church. It's not just a man who wants to serve God in ministry. A spiritual man, you can safely summarize it as one who has walked with the Spirit of God to be able to embrace and inculcate within himself in experience the nature of Christ. 
who is manifesting by submission to the word you see that the wisdom of Christ and who by the spirit of grace is demonstrating and manifesting the works of Christ the chiefest of them being the work of global evangelization bringing many to Christ because according to scripture God desires that all men be saved and then to come unto the knowledge of the Son. Those who have never been saved, unregenerate, they have not met Jesus, born from Christian families, related to men and women of God, but they have never made this decision for Jesus. Number two, there are believers who are barely saved and have remained without an intention to grow using this that they are, they are saved but they have not submitted they have not encountered the person of the Holy Spirit nor are they interested they have not encountered the, the logos of God the thoughts of God and they are not willing to submit to the Spirit of God they are not willing to submit to transformation by the Word of God and then we have this third category and there is no graduation in this third category you never get to a point where you say, I am done becoming a spiritual man. No. It is a bar measured upon a bar measured. By the time you of his nature that needs to be formed, there is still more of his wisdom that needs to manifest through you. There is still more of his power that needs to be revealed. By the time you cover grounds, after 10 years, he commends you and then he gives you a greater charge to become like him in a greater way. Let me tell you the truth. For anyone, including you, including me, who will contend by the Spirit that from today, I will see to it that I will take advantage of the life of God that I already have and allow the Spirit of God, the Word of God, through all the activities of prayer, fasting, the Word study, engaging in mentorship, that I will allow by the Spirit the full formation of the nature of God in my life. That love nature reflected in the fruit of the Spirit. And then the wisdom of God, the mind of Christ, a superior transformed mentality, a God-like mentality producing God-like dimensions of results. And then for the power of God, that for as long as I'm alive, through my words, through my hands, many will see Christ at work, a display of his power, dumbfounding principalities and powers that under my watch, there will be no untimely death in my family again. That under my watch, it will never be that people are desirous of a job or whatever to do. No, you come there as the manifestation of the Christ. So you don't just say things you cannot defend. You can gather your family and tell them I found a way. This family can become a great reflection of Christ. And they say how? You will tell them number one, the nature imposed all these demonic manifestation, these habits and challenges that misrepresent Christ. Number two, by transformation, the mind of Christ can find expression in us, communicating the wisdom of God, commanding mighty works through it, and supernatural anger. I believe in the power of God but I believe that in order of priority the nature of God is greater than his power it is true if you are asked to choose between the power of God and the nature of God it is wise to choose the nature of God because power are we together so if you've had it the other way around unfortunately you see all these three dimensions we have communicated part of them and we call our cause. So there are those with all due respect of the fullness of Christ. That is inaccurate. The teaching ministry, the, the corresponding character. And then we have another group that all there is is power and the charismatic gifts of the spirit. It doesn't matter whether you are a criminal. It doesn't matter whether you are a devil. Once the gift of the spirit can flow, that's not the way it's supposed to be. This is the correct arrangement. The nature of the Christ. 
this is what represents the fullness of God's nature. And this is what Paul was telling the church in Ephesus. That it is to this end that God went through all that labor to give unto some apostles and prophets and evangelists and teachers. Are we together? And pastors. Why? To be able to help the body of Christ manifest in its fullness the nature of Christ manifest the wisdom of Christ and manifest the power of Christ and let me tell you honestly before we round up you will seldom be given an assignment to complete or manifest all these three by yourself no usually there are portions of these dimensions given to us the whole job is supposed to do be done by a corporate body not only one person so if you have a rich understanding of the nature of Christ and you stop there, you will rob people from manifesting the wisdom of Christ and doing the works of Christ. You see that? That is the reason why it is a dangerous thing when the body of Christ fights itself. This is what we are fighting. Believer who only manifests the nature of Christ will never manifest the fullness of Christ. The believer who manifests only the wisdom of Christ will draw people to him, but lack of character, the nature of Christ, will even bring a bigger betrayal because you will be like that tree. You attract people by your wisdom, but when they come, because you see, proximity reveals. The moment you come close, you will see, ah, no now, not again. And if all you have is the power of God, the greatest misrepresentation of the Christ will come from manifesting his power without his wisdom and without his nature. That is dangerous. Because of these three, the, mo the one that has the most attraction is the power dimension. So it will bring multitudes and you'll find out you are bankrupt of wisdom but sadly bankrupt of his nature. So in mentoring believers, you don't start with power, you don't start with wisdom. Discipleship 101, the labor of building the character of Christ in people. Then the wisdom of Christ. Then the power of Christ. You have raised a mighty army for Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to pray as we wrap up that even for people who God has helped to be spiritual there are various dimensions of these formations of Christ in us. There are people the richest dimension of the formation of Christ in you is his wisdom not his character. There are those the richest formation of the Christ in you. It's not like the nature is not there but it's not rich enough to bring glory to Christ. God is calling us tonight to adjust these various areas. For the one who has the power of God more than character, more than wisdom, God is calling you to step up these two. Don't just perform miracles. Don't just prophesy. There is room to know the word of God and have an understanding of scripture. Your antidote to error. But more importantly, the nature of Christ. That the closer people come to you, they will truly see that you are a representation of Christ. Imagine you, having a rich manifestation of his nature and character in experience, having sound wisdom, understanding the ways of God, that the moment you open your mouth is wisdom that is communicated, and then having the faculty to defend the things that you propose through wisdom, that you have power, you are not deficient of spiritual power. That's going to be your prayer. Please open your mouth and pray. You know what area is deficient in your life. Take the next few minutes to cry before God. Lord, I'm praying, walk upon my character. Let the nation see you when they see me. Someone is praying. Online, make sure you are praying. I desire a richer manifestation of the nature of Christ. The attributes of the flesh that misrepresent God in my life. Someone is praying that they die and give room for the Christ to be seen. Pray.
for those who have done a good job allowing the fruit of the spirit manifest the fruit of the spirit is important but you need in addition to it wisdom many people lack wisdom they are born again they are sincere Christians but they are poor they are broke they cannot build any organization they cannot build any ministry they can't build anything they can't build their children the problem is not lack of character the problem is lack of wisdom anytime you do not have the power to build anything that lasts is a wisdom problem go ahead and pray and there are those who have wisdom when you listen to them they say a lot of intelligent things but there's no demonstration of the spirit we can talk about healing but then the sick are never healed talk about liberty we can teach intelligently about liberty but the performance dimension of God is not there in their life please go ahead and pray are you praying 10 more seconds father your nature the character of the Christ pray against everything you know anger lust jealousy bitterness rage don't keep quiet everything that fights the nature of Christ should be your project in this prayer let it die let it die let it die in the name of Jesus that when men see me the first thing they see is the nature and the character of Christ love kindness joy now pray for wisdom that's the reason you are not able to build anything not your finances not your business not your ministry every time you cannot build is a wisdom problem it may not be a character problem a wisdom problem it is by wisdom a house is built it is by wisdom a destiny is built it's by wisdom a ministry is built every time you do not build to excel you do not build to last the wisdom of Christ is deficient in you Someone is praying. Kapreke paratos kadish, lakrepeta kapreke tos kapreke parus. Hallelujah. Please go back and listen to this teaching again. That the signature attestations to your being a spiritual man is that you must reflect Christ in his fullness and that in reflecting Christ to his fullness there are three compartments his nature his character the fruit of the spirit the recreated human spirit who is yielded to the Holy Spirit will produce these fruits and then his wisdom the empowerment to build anything that brings glory to Christ sponsored by wisdom the quality of your decisions, the superiority of your understanding, the dexterity of your thinking, wisdom, and then the power of God, the ability to demonstrate Christ here and now, to bring heavenly reality to be made manifest, supernaturally so. It is impossible to walk these three things and not truly reflect Christ. The fullness of Christ is not a mystery. It is the nature of Christ at work in you plus the wisdom of the Christ, the mind of Christ richly formed in you in ever increasing measure plus the power of God finding expression. So the next time you go to the place of prayer and you say, Lord, I want to become like you. You are now not praying a vague prayer. You know what you are praying. A greater formation of your nature a greater importation of your wisdom a greater manifestation of your power you see you are now praying profitably when you open your Bible and you are studying this is still what you are becoming 
the next time you say I want to become like Christ you can help correct someone's understanding so that that becoming like Christ does not become abstract to the average believer when they say I want to become like Christ they don't even have a picture I have given definition to that abstract concept it is the nature of the Christ the mind the wisdom of the Christ and the power of the Christ enabling you to do the works of Christ this is what is captured in the fullness of Christ for every conference you will attend for every church service for every message you will listen to for every prayer program every fasting program every word study program every book you will buy and read I want you to interpret everything from the lens of this journey this is your journey with the Spirit this is your journey with God. Lift your hands. Father, I pray for your people in the name that is above all names. The grace to allow that life of Christ that they received at the point of salvation. The grace to allow this fine expression. I'm praying may that grace rest upon you. Number two, for those who have manifested the nature of Christ in such a rich way, but you've not been able to build anything in your life. The matters that make for life, you are defeated there completely. Defeated in your finances, defeated in leadership. You've not been able to raise anybody or do anything great for the kingdom. I'm praying for you. As you begin to journey through the world, may authentic wisdom be imparted upon you. Number three, I'm praying for those who are getting frustrated by saying the many things God can do as revealed by wisdom but not able to demonstrate it here and now in your life not the life of those who trust you I'm praying for you this missing power component that will help you do the works of Christ let it rest upon you now in the name of Jesus for everyone who is struggling with the flesh attributes of the flesh anger jealousy competition all the things that keep misrepresenting your knowing God I'm praying for you the spirit that is behind that programming I curse it right now I curse it right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus finally I pray for you the next time someone is looking to see who God is may God send you to them as a representation of the image of the Christ in the name of Jesus Christ